Now we'll talk about sinking. Imagine placing a brick in the water. So here's the water line and here's a brick. We put the brick in the water. A brick is fairly heavy so there's a large downward force. So I'll draw a big vector here representing the weight. Now as it goes into the water it displaces some water so there's an upward force here, the buoyant force but the weight is much larger so it continues to sink down into the water. Now as it moves down into the water it displaces more water so the buoyant force increases but the weight is still relatively large because the brick is heavy. So let's draw it further down into the water. We still have a large weight W and the buoyant force has gotten a little bit bigger but it's still small compared to the weight so the brick continues to move down and eventually the brick is completely underwater. So we'll draw it down here. At this point, it has displaced all the water it's going to displace. It can't displace any more water at that point. So the buoyant force up is as large as it's going to be. And the downward force from the weight is still larger than that. So it will not float the downward force of the weight overcomes the buoyant force and it continues to, continues to sink all the way down to the bottom. Because it is more dense than water, it doesn't occupy as much space as the water. So it can't displace enough water to have that water's weight equal its own weight. So in order to float, an object has to be less dense than the liquid that it is in something like a brick or a rock or a piece of steel that is more dense than water will necessarily sink.